I do a lot of coaching around personal development. And what I have found is people find personal development very difficult, mostly because they have a range of fears and anxieties that they've had for a very long time and they've become immune to it. Much like having chronic back pain that you've gotten used to. However, it still affects what you can do and how you do it. Take for example, these days, how many people talk about working hard and having to work late into the night and into the weekends. How much of that time is really what they need to do because of what they value about themselves and how much is it to do with trying to prove something to their colleagues or to their boss? Often is to do with some kind of fear or anxiety that they're really not good enough. Have you ever considered why you do what you do? Are you doing things because of fear or because of the value that you have about yourself? A good way to determine this is, for example, if you're working in a consultancy, are you charging enough to a client? And are you willing to say no to a client when a no needs to be said? The first step to making real personal development is to stop and dispassionately listen to the kind of voice and noise that's going on in your head and observe it. A natural next step is if you hear fear or anxiety, you know you do not take the action that it suggests and you consider what other options are available to you. In the coolness of being free of anxiety, you can make a different choice. Because ultimately, personal development is about change and making changes that are decided upon by you today from the knowledge base of your consciousness, not from the programming of your fear and anxiety.